Juliet, take two, marker. Flat on set. And camera set. Action. Today, I am assistant camera on a fantasy series called Sword of Valentius, directed by Josh Thigpen. And I'll be working with the DP, Joey Nakotra. I'm based out of Dallas, Texas, and this shoot is about a four and a half hour drive. It's, we've been filming all over Texas, but at this particular location, it's like near Sealy, Texas. I don't have the exact location. I'll put it up on the screen. This will be, I believe, the fifth day that I've been on this gig. I haven't been able to make it to every single one, but whenever my schedule is available, I do get on it. I started trying out these vlogs. I've been kind of inspired by a local filmmaker friend of mine. Uh, his name is Jared, and he, he actually has a channel lent to Jared, and I've been watching his vlogs, and uh, I was on a gig with him maybe a week and a half ago. And I asked him what he filmed with, and, and he said he filmed his vlogs with just his phone, so, um, you know, just to get content out, and I guess, I don't know why it never clicked to me, why I was so worried about making the video look good that I should just record and just get something out there. Your destination is on the right. So that was the wrong house. It's the house that's right next to it. So not that house, this house. I did think about driving through the grass, but I didn't want to ruin someone else's grass. So this is the Airbnb. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. Here's Michael, he's gonna be gaffing for us today. And then over here is Nathan. He's a DP, steady cam op, cam op, key grip, AC, he pretty much does it all. And I was learning a lot from him on this gig. I just bought some of this the other day. I mean, yeah, that's, good. that's, that's a necessity on movies like this. Yeah. <laughs> We were a small crew and the house fit eight of us, minus the director. Later that night, we started building up my follow focus rig, which consisted of a Atmos SDI Shinobi and Joey's Teradek. We also got most of the Komodo prepped onto the gimbal with a motor, timecode, receiver, port keys monitor, and power distribution. We used an RS3 Pro and a tilter ring for this. This made it easy for us since we would have an early morning call time. Ballpark of where I think we're gonna be at. Yeah. So if I can get the rest of this out, I can head down with it. Head down. Yeah, that'd be great, actually. Y'all can go ahead and start. Hey Noah. Well, no, actually, sorry. For it. Um, it may or may not. So we were at the first location, uh, and that was mainly just to kind of set up some of our stuff and our gear, but our main shooting location will be over here, traveling to like the back part of this ranch. Here we are scouting a location for those stairs you saw in the U-Haul. This would be our main set piece as we would have a blue screen for a backdrop. Before we hit this big curve, we filmed over there for the fight scene. Yeah. And then I helped out with Tilted Nucleus M for the follow focus, which has been working out pretty great. And then I had the uh, the rig from Tilta to mount the mount everything together. 
and then I have it on a baby receiver to put on the stand. And then the SDI out has come from the Terra deck all the way to this monitor for the directory. Yeah, we should have some water. I think they got left. This 20 by 20 blue screen took a couple of us guys to set up, but luckily we had Nathan who was an experienced key grip. There was practically no wind, which was perfect because we did not have any rope to tie this thing down. Instead, we used most of our sandbags to weigh down the stands and had two people on standby with the frame. We had a costumer on set, but we had just so many talent and costume changes to get through that everyone helped each other out where we could. <laughs> How are we feeling? Uh, surprisingly energetic. Hmm. Getting Not us. too shabby. Not yeah. too shabby. Yeah, I'm getting that second wind. Yeah. Uh, okay. I guess the fruits are kicking in. <laughs> early, early morning protein helps. Before recording, we did some quick rehearsals, which allowed me to get marks for when I pull focus on a take. However, pulling focus is just one small part of the job. Other things I have to do are lens changes, charging batteries, camera build, setting up and moving video village, and assisting, and pretty much assisting wherever I can to help out Joey. Luckily, I had Noah who was PAing, but he was essentially my second AC for the day. I was able to delegate tasks to him, such as getting batteries charged and helping me with lens swaps, among other things, which was a huge help. Seal off the back entrances. We'll make them funnel in. Yes, Lord. Set some archers at the outer flanks and on the castle. Are the watchmen in place? Look at these guys. And then you kind of walk this way, kind of over this way. And actually, What's your name? Garen. Garen. Let's have you come back. Would you switch him for you? Because the reason being is there's a there's a set there's a <coughs> moment where you see a guy who looks uh, younger than you would like, and I think you're probably the youngest <laughs> in, <laughs> youngest looking it's guy out here. That hasn't already been the scene. And so um, beautiful. You'll say, uh, and so you'll kind of like pause on him, like you'll, you'll like go over here. Here's a tip. We had a lot of talent in front of this blue screen, so in order to fit everyone in the shot, we had to swap to a 75mm and pull the camera back. A higher focal length means that the background and foreground compresses, essentially widening out the blue screen. It represents hope, courage, goodness, and light. I see all of those qualities in each of you. In the man to your left and right, the goodness in your families and the goodness of your ancestors whose blood was spilled on this very ground. If this is how Manador ends, so be it. But we will end it by honoring those who fought before us. I can say some of us are going to see him again. Yeah, sadly. <laughs> I don't know. I think sadly, he's, yeah, he's cut from production yeah, after this. Probably... <laughs> Something Excuse doesn't feel right that we're not staying at the hilltop house tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I don't ever want to hear you say I want it that way. Tell me why. What? <laughs> 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 Pretty much the whole day was shooting on this blue screen, and I let Noah pull a couple shots because he's been pretty interested in ACing, but unfortunately, we were running out of time, so I had to take over. Juliet, take two, marker. Quiet on set, and camera set. Sunlight had run out by the time we got the setup done, and we didn't get to shoot the next scene we had for tonight due to some really bad luck. But overall, it was a big learning experience for me, and you know, the goal for me on these shoots is to always learn something new and to be open to learning from people who are way more experienced than me. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, and as always, if you enjoy the content and want to see more, feel free to subscribe. <laughs>